I in this project we're going to control two lamps with an Arduino and an Ethernet shield. Those are all the parts you need for this project. I'll be using two remote controlled sockets. Almost any remote controlled sockets will work. However, they must say in the label that they are controlled by a 433 MHz frequency. That's the only thing you need to worry about. We're going to use the channel A from the remote control and then select the channel A1 for one socket and the channel A2 for the other socket. Go to homeautomationserver.com Click Get Started for Free to create a new account Fill those forms and hit register. If you already have an account, simply log in. Go to the main dashboard, add two new buttons and you can call them whatever you want. Save them. When you press the button 1, turn on, it will update your unique user page with a new state, in this case the number 1. Your Arduino is constantly reading your unique web page and waiting for a new state. When you press the button 1, turn off, it will change your unique web page to the number 2, and so on. If you go to this page below, you can find all the other states for the rest of the buttons. We also provide a mobile dashboard. This dashboard has no sidebar, which makes it easy to log in with your smartphone. Install the RC switch library provided. Reopen the Arduino IDE and open the example Advanced Receiver. It's time to see exactly the bytes our remote control is sending when we press the on and off buttons. Follow the schematics to make a receiver circuit. Upload the Arduino code and open the serial monitor. Now press all the buttons you're going to use. Save the decimal numbers from each button in a notepad file, because you'll need them later. Now make the transmitter circuit. We know which values our remote control is sending when we press the buttons, so instead of controlling the sockets with a remote control, we're going to use a 433 MHz transmitter to do the exact same thing. All the schematics and source code can be found on my website, there's a link below this video. Copy and paste the Arduino code provided in a new Arduino sketch. Change the user key on this line.
you also need to change all the if statements so when we press the buttons at homeautomationserver.com it will turn the sockets on and off. Upload the Arduino code. This may take you a few seconds. Let's see the final demonstration. It's working, as we can see. You can also apply this method to control a relay or a transistor. This solution makes it possible to control your house appliances from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching.